Alright guys, it's Fade Edin and today I'm going to show you how to do modelling and this is modelling of a 3D bullet for 3D working editing. So I first saw this in one of the people who entered Agony's contest and I'll, it'll be a bit loud so I'll show you the preview. <laughs> So how to create the bullet, but not actually the camera, where it goes into the thing. I haven't quite mastered how to do that yet. Um, so what we're going to do is go into Cinema 4D, and basically just go to File New, and I always do it with 1400 lately, because it gives me more of an area to work with when I'm doing 3D text, or mo like I've started to do modelling a little bit. So as you can see it gives me more of a wide area. So we're going to click on this button here first and we need to go on the front so we'll click that one again there. And now we've got this here which is really what we need. So we go to this one here and go to B spline and this helps us to actual model the thing from nothing at all. So we're going to go from this green line here, we're going to go four across and click here and then I'm going to go free up from that so, so which is there and if I just move that by a bit and we need to curl that a little bit so if you just click like round this area here first and it bends the bullet and that's perfect there and that's basically it for the back of the bullet so now you need to go all the way to the green line again and go free across from that and actually if I go back a little bit that's a bit should be perfect there and do free across again yeah that's fine so now we can see we've got the back of the bullet there and it's quite complicated this is so you'll have to be careful with this right there we go and now we need to go two down from this red arrow here so which is from this one here sorry so you just click here and it curls the front of the bullet and now we've done half of the bullet then all you need to do is go to hyper nerves here and go to laugh nerves and instead of doing the other side of the bullet this is what makes it easier to do the other side of the bullet and makes it 3D so then we'll drag the spline into the laugh nerves and it brings up all these complicated lines here now so we're doing it right so now you go to spline and make sure that's clicked and we've got the coordinates and B here and you do minus 90 and just click enter and now you can see we've got two sides of the bullet here now so if we click on that again you can see we've got that and in there the bullets 3D now so we'll click back onto that and because it's quite big you just need to zoom out a little bit so there we go it's perfect now so make sure that you're clicked on spline there and go to 3D actually laugh nerves and then go to that and you can just rotate the bullet however way you want it and then just zoom into it again and then if we use this one here you can see now that the bullets completely 3D and that's the back of the bullet and it goes into the front so what you can do is put, click on this one here and you can drag the bullet out a little bit to make it more realistic if you want to I'm just gonna rotate that a little bit more right that'll do and because bullets are normally brass colour rather than grey we'll go to file shader and I go to nuke here and if you just click on this here and go to diffuse A and you can either make your own colour first I'll make I'll show you a different bit of a colour after or this is perfect because it has all the reflection added to it already so if we go to a nice orangey yellowy colour which is about there 
and as you can see that brings up there so then we'll just go to specular 3 and just go to the same Orion color but instead go to sort of a beigey color and as you can see there that's like a bronzy color now so then if we drag that onto the bullet now and render that out as you can see it's like a really nice color now and it's more like a bullet so if you want to make it sort of more darker if you want to then go to reflection and just get Ryan the same color there go to Fresnel and then with the Fresnel we need to do actually add the color there first <laughs> and then go to reflection, add the reflection onto it so we've got a nice colour there now and I normally go to 35 as I did in my 3D text tutorial and my brightness can be around 50 so now we've got that one there we can drag that on again and if we render that out now it's more like a bullet colour now and like it was in the agony edit so that's the tutorial today guys hope you enjoyed it if you want to I'll try to do the tutorial on how to do it through, like, from the sniper, going out of the sniper, which is 3D work. Um, so that's the tutorial today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.